Let's see some target market and application for the Air Force 62 rifle. One of the major FIFO usage and long history FIFO market are broadcasting. Everlogic's early generation FIFO products, uh, 3 megabits FIFO L422, have been widely used in making all sorts of uh, broadcasting equipment. Till now, many legacy products are still in production. Another target application can use FIFO R video camera or image capture devices um, such as professional studio camera system or capture card for red mount uh, system. Since FIFO is an easy way for data buffering, a lot of uh, other customers use FIFO in their video surveillance system. Multiple video input are buffered in FIFO and mix or switch by subsequent uh, logics, for example. Um, FIFO is seen in many medical system design as well. A medical system requires all kind of um, customization in the signal processing. FIFO buffer is flexible enough and easy to adapt so FIFO is a good choice uh, for medical system design. Other typical market is industrial e equipment, like uh, test equipment and so on. And of course there are many many other applications. In video surveillance system, um, the system might need to accept a various video source such as VGA, HDMI uh, video, uh, SDI video for further process or switching. This block diagram illustrates the graphic or HD video signal digitized by A to D receiver and data buffer in a FIFO. The other source uh, is the MPEX source and is decoded by a decoder and data buffer again data buffer by another FIFO. The next switcher logic or mixer can select or mix these videos for display. Another type of uh, application for FIFO is form a converter buffer. By working with a simple FPGA like this block diagram, the input source can be buffered in the FIFO after uh, A to D process. The FPGA form a convert IP can read data from FIFO and then do format conversion for later process. In this slide, audio video lip sync is another common process in broadcasting system design. A DTV stream uh, will be uh, split into video data and audio data after decoder. And as we know, the video content a large data volume than audio. And they are processed in different data routes or data path. It will create some time offsets between video and audio at the output point. If those video and audio are output to display devices and um, sound system without resynchronization between two signals. We will see the video lag in, uh, in, in the playback. This block diagram shows the possible lip sync design. Both video data and audio can be buffered at uh, five folds and the audio will be delay output 
uh, to match up the video timestamps. Let's see some examples of product design. One of the customers made an image log for a PC display. The design is resigned in the display cable, such as a DVI cable or VGA cable. The user can connect the cable from his PC to the monitor like a, a normal DVI cable. A capture board is built inside the cable. It can do screen snapshot every few seconds on whatever shows on the monitor and the store image in the internal fresh memory for later playback. It can produce a screen log uh, from your work. The design consists of the FPGA 5 memory and the uh, storage uh, fresh memory. Another case study is 360 degree image or panoramic captures. This customer designed a plastic ball with a 36 image sensor mounted around the ball. As user toss the ball in the air, 36 cameras will take pictures at the same time and store image into the fresh memory. The software then can stitch these images to create a 360 degree or panoramic picture. In the design, each sensor module has uh, one HD sensor, uh, FIFO, and uh, microprocessor. The ball embedded a motion sensor. In the picture, as you can see, the man throw the ball in the air and the motion sensor will trigger the camera modules to take pictures simultaneously as balls start dropping. The customer has filed a pattern for this design. This information actually is uh, captured from their pattern paper.